Math 98, uh, practice test 1, this is question number 15. Directions say to solve that equation. It's a quadratic, so what I'm going to do in order to solve it is try and factor it um, and then use that zero product property. And I notice that I have um, a 16 here, so I'm going to look for numbers that multiply to 16 but add to negative 10. Since this is positive and that's negative, they're going to have to multiply to a positive number, add to a negative number. I know they're both going to be negative. So I could just start... Uh, listing factors of negative of 16, negative 2, negative 8, uh, negative 4, negative 4. Oh, it's right here, negative 2 and negative 8. I see it. So um, those two multiplied in, to positive 16, add to negative 10. So this would factor to x minus 2 times x minus 8. That's still equal to 0. These two things are multiplied together to give me zero. That means either this is zero, using that zero product property, or this is zero. And if I solve both those equations, pretty straightforward, add two, add eight, x could equal two, or it could equal eight.